For the WTO, and for me as Director General, it is a priority to ensure that trade can support development and better livelihoods around the world. This means making sure that trade policies can complement other vital public policy goals, such as environmental policies or public health. Recently, we have marked a very important milestone in those efforts. WTO members have brought into force an amendment uh, to the Global Agreement which deals with intellectual property rights and trade, known as the TRIPS Agreement. Uh, this is the first ever amendment to a multilateral trade agreement in the WTO, and it responds to a public health concern among developing countries. It's all about access to medicines. Under the old system, the rules restricted the export of generic medicines. So if you couldn't produce the medicines domestically, the rules made it difficult to import them. Now, this meant that the poorest could face the biggest hurdles in accessing uh, essential drugs. Uh, but now, this matter has been resolved once and for all. This amendment gives legal certainty that generic medicines can be imported by countries with no pharmaceutical production capacity or those with limited capacity. And it ensures that those medicines can be imported in satisfactory quantities. And by doing so, it helps some of the most vulnerable people who are suffering from diseases such, such as HIV AIDS, um, tuberculosis or malaria, as well as other epidemics uh, clearly, this is a very important enterprise. Uh, this right uh, had previously been granted um, to members, but only as a waiver. Uh, it was the drive and the leadership of WTO's African members that gave this mechanism a more solid uh, legal grounding. They sought the consensus needed to insert this right permanently into WTO rules, uh, making it a norm and not an exception. Uh, and they were supported by widespread calls for action on this point by various UN bodies. Two-thirds of the WTO membership, over a hundred countries, have now formally accepted the amendment, and so it has come into force. The next step is for members to make effective use of the amendment as a practical procurement tool, and this will help to ensure that the supply of medicines match with patient needs. Um, it will also contribute to the achievement of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So I would like to thank all of those involved in making this a reality. It shows that the WTO can negotiate smart solutions for real problems affecting people's lives. We should keep this in mind as we seek to ensure that the benefits of trade are available for everybody, complementing other important priorities now and in the future.